Hi guys. Hello. Welcome to date night, the day after her birthday. Happy birthday, Lucy. This is 39. This is 39. We're 39. We're both 39. One more year till we're 40. Whoa. And tonight's question is. If you, if could, you could go, go anywhere. In the world. With your spouse. Where would you go? Where would you go? Anywhere in the world. If you can go anywhere with your spouse, where would you go? Ooh, Luce, are you going to go? I'm going to button up. I feel so, like I'm showing up, showing too much chest. Right now, or actually tomorrow, Chicago is supposed to be colder than Ooh. Mount Everest. Negative 60. Because of the wind chills are going to be so bad. And I'm from Chicago, so I have my whole family in Chicago preparing for the, the Arctic the, freeze, the polar vortex, the polar vortex. Yes. So this goes out to all those people in the cold, cold, cold climates. If you could go anywhere, anywhere in the world with your significant other, where would you go? That's um, right. And the way we play this little game here is, oh, you got some options there? Yeah. We have some options there. Okay. So I see. I see what you're doing here, Lucy. They're going to well, choose an option, and then they're going to go into more details in the comments. Yeah, because, because that's what they do. Because this software that we use, it, you have to do multiple choice. Mm -hmm. So that's why like, I did like Life's a Beach or Lake Life or Lake Rocky, Life, Mountain. Rocky Mountain. But if there's something specific. Lots of others. I wouldn't go beach. If I go anywhere in the world, I would not go beach. Ooh, no says Lake no. Life is the best life. No Anderson says Paris, France. Thank you for all the people saying happy birthday. Thanks so much. Good evening. Hello. Um, Rocky thanks for all the birthday love. I had a great day. So um, yes. Rocky Mountain High life. So we'll be going to I'd go to New York. Never been. I want to see the 9-11 memorial. Very good. Mm -hmm. Anywhere away from Chicago weather, says Corey. That's who I had in mind. I had in mind my Chicago family. I called my dad today, who's 87 and stubborn, and I'm like, Dad, do not leave the house. And he's like, oh, I got to go to church. I got to go check it out. I got I to gotta check on my friend. His pipes might have frozen. I'm like, fine, check on the pipes two days from now, if not you tomorrow. you be in the Arctic freeze, everyone's going to want to spend a little bit of time. Bit. Ooh, back in Hawaii. That's where I would go. That's Someone, where I belong. Australia. I would go to Aust Australia would be a top pick for me and you. We've been there a couple times. Yeah. I'd go back to Australia. I would go to, we had a wonderful time in Scotland, of course. Yes. But I want to go in new, a new place, right. too. I, I new would go place. to, like, you know what's bucket list is? Um, Don't say Bora Bora. Yeah, beachy. No, it's too beachy. beachy. Those it's too, little, too, way too beachy. Those little huts you where go, you're like, the ocean mm, is the clear floor. That's a, I just, that's on my bucket list. What can I say? That or like Italy with you. Mm -hmm. um, but like when it's cold like this, I, I want to go somewhere warm. I think too much, you know, they say put the sand on your toes. Not a fan. I got my ass oh. in the, no. I got swear. my. Don't swear. Toes in the sand. Um, not a worry in the world. A cold beer in my hand. Life is good today. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are saying Bora Bora. Yes, because Fiji, it's like a bucket Paris, list. France. And so many of us say. cannot go there because it's crazy expensive. And speaking of traveling. Well, a lot of people are watching from Chicago. Uh, speaking Everyone's of traveling. Speaking of traveling. Yes, we have a sponsor tonight. We have a sponsor tonight, and tonight's sponsor is Hotspot Shield. Longtime sponsor, by the way. They always work with us. So thanks thank to Hotspot you. Shield. Thank they keep you, coming Hotspot. back. And you know what Hotspot Shield does? It's a VPN that you should download, especially if you're traveling. And VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. So if you're mm -hmm. traveling, you're at the airport, you're on like a Starbucks with free Wi Fi. You definitely want to have these virtual private networks, and Hotspot is the number one and you fastest. Don't, you don't want to do. You don't want to check your bank stuff, and I made the mistake. No. You don't want to do your banking at Starbucks or at the airport. No. Don't do that. No. But don't if you, open maybe your if bank you had account. a VPN, maybe if you had, if maybe you had, you had, had a Hotspot VPN. Shield, you could. Yeah. You could do your banking wherever you want. Most secure. Yeah. Fastest uh, network with six 
650 million users already. So they are awesome. definitely check it out. And thank you, Hasba, for always um, supporting us here and uh, sponsoring us week after week. So absolutely, we got some more uh, cool ones coming in where they want to go. Paris, Hawaii, um, the Titanic. Someone wants to go see Ooh. that. Um, yeah, Hawaii, New York City, Alaska. My husband wants to take me to a secluded cabin in the woods, lots of land to play on some ATVs oh, by fun. a fishing spot. That I sounds like, fun. I like cabin in the woods. I'm leaving more towards cabin in okay, the woods, something but, in the middle of nowhere. But Tom. Rather than this Bora Bora. Tom. Put my toes in the sand. Okay, let's change the sentence for Tom specifically. If yeah. you could go anywhere in the world right now without me, where would you be right now? If you could be anywhere in the world right now. Right now? Yeah. I would um, go to Atlanta. And why would you go to Atlanta, Tom? Because the New England Patriots are going to be in the Super Bowl. Do you want to say New that. England Patriots again? New Eng the New, England, the New, New England. England Patriots are in the Super Bowl. <laughs> and the whole team is there and all the press is there. And they have Radio Row there. Everyone's there now. And, and he's, it's only Monday. It's he's Tuesday. flying in for one day on Atlanta. He doesn't have a ticket yet. I'm going though. But he's going. I'm going to the Super Bowl. So you would want to go to Atlanta. Go back. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. but the question was. I would go to like Fiji. Yep. The question, if that was a question, where do I want to be right now? That's a totally different question. This right. question was, I was thinking of you. Where right. would you want to be with your spouse right now, right? Orlando Disney. Uh, Alicia says, go Patriots. Yes, New England Patriots. Vegas would be a blast, says Elliot. Um, Colin Wilson says, Tom Brady likes Sprite. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yes. Uh, it's so cold tonight in Minnesota. I want outside. I went outside quick with my beer. I took a sip and the beer got stuck to my lips. Bring drinking to a, bringing drinking to a dangerous level. <laughs> nice chance. Um, Yes. Okay. So anywhere warm, polar vortex over here in Chicago. Well, that's why I'm asking, Susie. Uh, so I'm next question. My posture. Oh, okay. I'm just sitting up. I feel like this couch makes us like, Rrr. hey guys, how you doing? So now <laughs> I'm just sitting up. I'm gonna lean in. I'm gonna uh, lean into next life. question. Do you believe in kidless trips with your partner? Why or why not, Tom? This is the this. easiest question that that I've ever been asked. You Why? have to go on trips without your kids, with your spouse, because then you reconnect as, as, as those that we're dating, as lovers, as friends, as she goes from my, she turns from my wife into my girlfriend when we go away. So I like, we're dating for the first time. I take my mom hat off and I'm fun again, right, Tom? Huh? You, you love vacation, Lucy. Yeah. Everyone loves, I love vacation, Lucy. Who doesn't love vacation, mm -hmm. Lucy? Most people are saying yes. I'm proud yes. of the people. I know well, a lot of people aren't able, and some people aren't able yeah. to take a kidless if trip, you, and I understand that. If you have safe, secure child care, that's mm -hmm. the place to go. Yeah. Um, three minutes in, and we had to mention Tom Brady. <laughs> Got to do it. Got to uh, do it. Especially this week. This is the week. Yes. Yes. Alone time is very important. Uh, to stay lovers, friends, and partners in life. Yes, absolutely. Lovers. We need to keep our relationship Get yourself strong. a lover. <laughs> um, Vacay Lucy, Aaron, Crum, Crum, Crumry. Vacation Lucy is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. My friends can mm -hmm. attest. My husband can attest. My family can attest. Um, vacationing with my kids is <laughs> slightly different. It It's memorable and a lot of times very magical in, a, in one sense. There's, but it's not exactly relaxed. It's equal part good I'm memories not, and bad mem yeah. memories that we just like taking them out to restaurants. Equal part good memories and bad memories. Maybe more bad memories from restaurants. Um, everybody but needs a vacation. Them, Parents especially deserve it. Yes. Amen, amen. Yes, got to have mommy and daddy time. Your relationship is so important. Um... And then you don't talk about the kids, and you don't miss the kids when you're gone. Those are the two rules. You you're, not allowed, you're not allowed no, to miss them. You definitely miss your kids. You're not allowed kids. to talk about them. Tom acts like he doesn't miss the kids. He definitely misses our kids. I, well, I mean. I know that I'm going to go back and be with them for the next 280 days. So I can take a couple extra days away, because then we're going to have 280 straight. All right. 
So I'll, write Del. I'll write Dal. I'll write Dal. Uh oh, she's calling I'll, me Dal. She's calling I'll me Dal. Miss our kids for both of us. You can. But I do believe in kidless trips because it is important. When we're away from them from what for one day I miss them one percent. Yes. True story. I, two days I miss away them. I miss them two percent. No. And then it will go up to about ten percent after three days, four days maybe we're at twenty five percent. You, but we know that we're going to get back to now, them and have 280 straight is, days with them. I hope they can't hear us right now. We love them. Who's coming in? Is that the dog or a human? I feel like Duke, I hear pitter-patter. Our Duke, our, our little guy, Duke, two yeah. accidents in the last hour. The last not, accidents. Not going well. Yeah. What's your favorite time of year? I feel like winter, not too spring, many people are going to vote for winter right summer, now. Summer, fall. Although... In Southern California, oh, winter can be really nice because it's in like the fall. 60s. I think I like fall. I'm going to go fall. And fall's running away with this thing, not running away. Yeah, but where we are, like I feel like September, October is really hot. So I this would vote for spring. Fall for me is November, in October. In Southern California. Late, late October. In Southern California, right after the heat yeah. goes away in late October, that's the best. I would Finally, say. Finally, cool night again. Spring in Southern California, my favorite time of year as a kid growing up in Chicago was definitely the summer. This and this this question changes for whatever city or wherever you live. Mm hmm I agree. Mm -hmm. Like like New Zealand. Like Gordy Spring from New Zealand. Gordy from New Zealand. Gordo. The um, Gordo. the seasons are switched. So it's summertime during Christmas season. Seasons of Change. Nope. You're thinking seasons of, of seasons love. love. Did you watch it? No, it I didn't on. watch Rent Live. Rent Live. I didn't see um, it. Did we but I do it like no? I do like Rent. So uh, the winter was summer. summer. I feel like a lot of people are feeling missing the heat. I get that. I what climate? That. And this is kind of going with that. But what climate are you most is most desirable? Tropical, polar cold, desert, or other? Well, I mean, of those ones, it's got to be tropical, right? Like, well, tropical is humid. What? Tropical is also humid. Right. Out of those you three. Humid when you were shaving. You've got like three long hairs. Thank you. Hairs. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, tropical's nice. Yes. I like, uh, I mean, Out of those Hawaii three. is tropical, so I would like do like Hawaii. I'd go with the rainforest. Hawaii is the most desirable climate to me. Like that other, what are some of the others that people are putting in? Um, good question, Tom. Let's look. Um, tropical. Let's see, we got Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe is great. Um, Michigan climate. That I know. I, I like the four seasons. Someone that has. Four seasons for sure. Uh, temperament, te temperate mountain, says Joseph. I love 75 and slight breeze. So no joke, yesterday in Southern California, it was 70 degrees for my birthday. I went, Beautiful. I had a, a spa day, and I sat by the pool in the sun, and it was glorious. And I kind of feel bad saying that when so many people are in very, very cold weather right now. Um, more dry heat. Well, dry heat's good. Susie's saying dry heat. Dry heat's good because you don't have, um, you don't have, uh, what's it called? The humidity. So you're not like sweaty. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. So, um, are we, are we yeah, go on to going the next one. on? Going on. Roll right along. The, so the winner was tropical. Tropical winds. Okay. Um, okay, now this kind of leads into, this is a not so subtle lead into our sponsor tonight. But when you leave town, you're on vacation, you're in your tropical uh, Fiji hut tent, how do you keep? your home safe how do you keep your house safe um when you're gone do you have an alarm a house sitter security camera or like me all of the above hey -o. um or big dogs where's my big dog um things like that two of them now 
Yes. Um, let's see. I'm trying to read. I can just bring it here. So, ring. So ring doorbell is really popular. Um, <laughs> Michael leaves the door unlocked and free for all. You know, there are parts of the world that you are as secure as can be. Not so much for city people. Um, uh, let's see. Owner armed signs. House sitter and German shepherd. Mm -hmm. Just a lock on my door and window, says Christine. Uh, alarm, but you got to remember when the cleaning lady is coming. <laughs> this is true. Neighbors help. This is great. Um, I see says neighbors help watch over the house. We definitely have a great group of neighbors watching over our house. Guard dog. Love it. Um, Doug wants to know if you're drinking moonshine. Moonshine. It is not. It's a, uh, it's a blue moon. Close? Yes. Close? Rottweiler and Pipple. Good luck. Exactly. I've got my St. Bernard now. Good luck with that. Uh, okay. So tonight's sponsor is Hotspot Shield. Yes. Thank you, Hotspot Shield. And so someone is winning a $25 Amazon gift card. hey yo. E-gift card How to we use. How are you doing this giveaway, Luz? Um, you know, we, I kind of did the last question about home security mm -hmm. because Hotspot is like a virtual security. Mm -hmm. So um, tonight's sponsor, like I said, Hotspot Shield, is the fastest, most secure VPN. And we're giving $25. Amazon e-gift card to the first person that can tell us what VPN stands for. Put in the comments, the first one we see. We're first both watching person, our comments. First person to answer what a VPN stands for will win a $25 gift card. We're watching. What does VPN stand for? Gift card for you. Drop it into the comments. Thank you guys for all the comments, by the way. We've got some great ones coming in. Oh, uh, Doug. For, you have the order better than I do. It's a better, you can see it better on there. So I'll, I'll trust yours. I have Doug coming in with virtual private network, which hey, is correct. Hey, winner. Um, very good. Congrats, Doug. You are the winner of a $25 e-gift card. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and we're going to do one more giveaway later on in the show. So Love stay it. tuned. Thank you, Hotspot Shield. All right. Okay. Next question. So, like Tommy said. Posture. Posture. I'm birthday. going back to my posture. I had a birthday this week. Mm -hmm. So it made me a little back, like back. reminiscent. On what was the last birthday year you looked forward to? 16th, 21st, 40th. Well, I mean, I have, the, I have the big 4-0 coming up. What are you looking for? What what did you most look forward to? Um, I guess twenty one, right? I mean, those are the only. Oh, but I could add another. Yeah. Yeah, tw I mean twenty one. Far and away, exciting. right? I can't yeah. think of one after twenty one that I was like looking forward I was, to. I didn't want to be. I was excited 30. to drive. Guys, I was. I don't like getting older. He doesn't. He's so I get a little. Bridge. I get a little emotional. I don't like my birthday. So we won't mention my birthday when it's that month here, right? Because I don't want to talk about my birthday. I'll throw a big, giant surprise party. And we'll <laughs> yeah, the 21st, but I think the 16th was more. My, my sweet 16, getting that driver's license. See, you get drive, you could drive at 16 in Chicago. In New Jersey, it's 17, so I didn't drive till 17. I got my permit at 16. Yes. Uh, let's see. Most people are definitely saying the 21st. We have comments coming in too. Uh, 18, 18 and oh, 21. It's when you can... Michael is looking forward to his 50th. I'm looking forward to my 40th, which is next year. I'm definitely looking forward. Uh, Cormac is not a fan of birthdays and getting older either. That's right, Cormac. Um, screw getting older says Yayo. Um, 25, the cheaper car insurance. I do remember Ooh. when I could rent a car. After you're 25, you can rent cars. Well, that's a good call. I it, never thought of that. It's okay. Getting older is okay. I like to say getting older is a... We're all like fine wines. 
No. We get better with age, That's right? That's not we're what like I was a fine, say. We're like a fine I cheese. Wasn't, I wasn't going to say that. We're like an aged cheese. I was going to say getting older is a privilege that not everyone is lucky enough to get. Yeah, that's a, so yeah, absolutely. That's, that's what I would say. That's a, I look that's forward a great to point. 21 until the day after my 21. <laughs> Touche, Adam. <laughs> Heidi says 40. If I make it to 40, I'm good, said Christopher. Uh, getting older is better than the alternative. That's what I said, Joseph. I agree. Um, 40 is the new, by the way, Doug, we mailed out your stuff yesterday, so look forward in a, in a couple of days. Yes. Um, uh, Paul thank Williamson, you for ordering. I'm aging like a supermarket milk. <laughs> Send in a picture, man. We want to see <laughs> that age is fast. Oh, that age is fast. That's what he's going with. Aaron's an aged cheese. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, what, I guess that's a great question. I, I yeah, don't want to like, take like over Richard's. your questions. Do you have this one coming up? Do you have people telling us? What food product they age like? Is that one of the scheduled questions? No, but I like, can, we, can I say Richard's? Yeah. I look forward to every birthday. Always room for improvement and continuously improving. Richard. Here, here, Richard. Spirit animals here. I agree. And yeah, so we're going we're gonna to cut to my question, which is what uh, food item do you age like? Oh, God. So think of the food item that you age like, and if you popped in a Y, that would be even better, right? What food do you age like? Um, let's see, because you have to think of the whole life. You start out small, you get big, you get a little wrinkly. Cucumber? Oh. That's not a good one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They start small, but then, because we have a couple cucumbers in the fridge now that are, like, a little wrinkly. Uh, but I ended up getting tall. Not a good answer? <laughs> hmm. Um, hmm. I would, I would definitely say a fine wine. Oh, yeah. Since I enjoy my wine, um, I guess I would say that if well, I had to. It would, it's just such a good You have to. Such a I'm, good Look at all the question. people commenting. It's amazing how are many people, people. Cantaloupe, are, grapes. Yep, grapes. Tacos. I see that. I hear a lot of that. A lot of people eating uh, like tacos. Pizza and yep. older, colder beer. Yep. Um, Whiskey. That's a good one. McDonald's cheeseburger. McDonald's cheeseburgers don't age. So that's actually pretty good well do you want to have a mcdonald's cheeseburger a couple days after <laughs> i'm just saying if it gets get stuck a good, get a in good... the third row and i don't find it for two months later that cheeseburger or hamburger looks the same you would eat it i wouldn't eat it all right well, we're, we're not talking about eating and if i lost a cucumber in the back seat um i i wouldn't eat anything that's I'd been it. in the back Wine? seat for no what if wine uh, is, is in... Is it still packaged? Yeah, the wine then is packaged, yes. yeah. Of course. Cheese. A little bit of weed in Netflix says no. <laughs> Potatoes. Um, well, grapes... I'm going to go get grapes a Grapes turn into raisins or wine. So, yes, grapes or wine are good. Okay, let's move on from this uh, question. Some of you already said this, but how do you feel about your birthday? What, like, comes to mind? Hate the attention, aging sucks, bring on another year, or other. What, how do you feel about your birthdays? Fries. Um, if you're stuck in the snow, it's okay to eat. Let's see. Single malt scotch. Yes, Matt. That, that is something that ages better with time. What are you doing? Looking for my glass. Found it. Your moonshine glass? Posture and pour. How's his posture, everybody? He wants you to compliment on it. Great. I've posture. slouched for my entire life, so I've made it my mission to slouch less this year and if you look back at it you guys are probably often looking at old episodes of this oh, and seeing all how the time. seeing yeah, how I, my posture has improved week by week um 
I th feel like I'm doing pretty well right he now. He does kind of stand like the Grinch with his like belly out, and he doesn't which, even have which a belly. Which I'm trying to, yeah, I'm so trying to move trying past to... that. Originally, for a long time, my posture was just going you know, like that, but now I'm no chest out. Doesn't. Be proud. That's not, that's not exactly not not at all your posture. You were hunched over. No, I know, but, but when I tried to, thank you, thank you. I love you too. Um, let's uh, <laughs> carry on. All right, what's this question? Um, people are commenting on that posture of yours. Thank you. Uh, Do you want so to So what's everybody yeah. saying? Bring on another year. I'm with you. Bring on another year. Okay, next question. Are they nice comments about the posture? <laughs> Great posture from Aaron. What's your most memorable birthday? Like what age? Again, this um, software is multiple choice only. So I always have to do like a multiple choice. But what was your most memorable birthday? My mom used to throw 1950s themed birthday parties for me in elementary school. And that was by far my favorite. My most memorable birthday. Although, no, I take it back. My 21st birthday, I had all, I'm the youngest of 12 kids. All 12 of us went to this bar my mom rented out and we had a karaoke machine. And every one of my siblings took turns sharing the story of my birth. And I was born at home, so it was really cool and special. So I would say that was, I guess my 21st was my mo most memorable. 30th Vegas with wife. Uh, 21st, but can't remember much from it. So it's my you know what I'm going to say, Luce? What? I'm going to say it's the birthday... When you invited all my family to an Angels game, and me, and we went there and we tailgated at the game, I surprised we hung you, outside. Right? I think I was surprised. Is that I don't get surprised much, and I don't do uh, stuff for my birthday that often. But that one, um, nice made me very, Thank you. That one made me very uh, made me very happy. So thank you for that. No, you're welcome. Yeah. Oh, I'm nice. glad to be part of your favorite birthday memory. Yeah, I know, because I, cause I couldn't be a part of yours. No, you were not right? part of my favorite birthday memory. Yep. Although I will say this week, you and the kids made me feel very, very, very We loved. did three or four nights in a row of dessert and uh, singing, right? And uh, I had a little spill over here. I'm going to go get a paper towel. My 22nd birthday when I was pregnant with my first child, and my mom made me a cake, and it was so hot, the cake melted. Good posture. Christine, um, Doug, Tommy, so I have this thing with Tommy where I'm like, you never have to think about what gifts to get me. Um, and there's like a, it, it's an online um, coupon site called Travel Zoo. And every year and throughout the year, like any, any time that he needs to buy me a gift, whether it's my birthday or Christmas or uh, Valentine's Day or anniversary, what Mother's Day, I ask for a spa day. So like a facial or a massage at this one spa using this online coupon code. That's, That's like, it's, it's half of the cost of a facial. And you get all the amenities of the spa and you get to hang out by a pool and it's heaven on earth. It's a it's a day for me to reset. And if he gets me three to four of those a year, that means I get three to four spa days a year. So I told him a couple of years back, I said, you never have to think about what gift to get me ever again. All I want are these spa days so that I can take a me day, do a little self care, spoil myself. And that's what he got me. And it was absolutely wonderful. And I loved every minute of it. Thanks for asking. Okay, let's see. Oldest of nine and 25th birthday, Jeremy. Shout out to family, big families. Um, let's see. My wife's 39th is Thursday. Need ideas. Oh, my God, Doug, your wife and I are like the same age. Cheers. Um, spa day. I recommend get, get a, like a local hotel a lot of um, nice luxury hotels will have spas in them. You get a day pass, and I, I worked out at the hotel gym. Then I went 
to, and they have like saunas and jacuzzis. It's wonderful. Impress her with your posture as well. Um, where did Pastor Pete go? <laughs> Who's this? Yes. Uh, no. No says. Noe. Erect Eric. Um, I think people are kind of uh, having fun with your posture. Tom. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will take that as a compliment. Yes. Think, right? Okay. So most, it, it's kind of tied between 20s and 30s. Um, very good. Where are we heading next? Where okay. Heading this this is going to get, this is a hot button topic here in the Riles household. Tom and I have been known to fight a time or two over where, this where are we heading with this? subject. How much should you spend on your kids' birthdays? Oh, well. We get We I wish we could every, be I wish we could fall in the first three categories, but <coughs> No, yeah. the first three, we're definitely the three to five hundred. Mm -mm. Yes. Mm -mm. He overshoots. We it. go we do fancy parties and they're wonderful parties, but they're way more expensive than five hundred. Um incorrect. As we do. It is, and we definitely don't go over 500. I get stiff when I get nervous about a conversation. <laughs> Shouldn't say stiff. Yes, you're using all, right. all the wrong words. I didn't say erect Eric. Someone else. <laughs> okay. Um, no says 134.76. Um, a dollar a year, I'd say less than 100, unless it's an older child, maybe high school. Cheeseburger in Paradise, Front, Front Street, Maui. It's based on the party, presents, cake, et cetera, maybe rentals, three to 500. It does, it adds up. Like if you, so this year our almost nine year old, instead of a birthday party, picked Disneyland. And it ends up being around the same cost, like three to 500 to take the Well, family. our parties are more expensive. You he is drama, you guys. That this is Tommy I'm far drama. Far from drama. This is Tommy drama. There's he no drama. If if I have a if I have a receipt for fifty dollars, he runs up to like two hundred. Mm -hmm. So he's very dramatic. And you would round a five hundred dollar receipt down to seventy five dollars in your head, right? They're calling him calling you stiff riff. S thank you. <laughs> oh, the um, posture is popular. Party package. Johnny Strong, how much is a party package at Chuck E. Cheese? Because I've been to those parties, and my kids have a blast. Um, depends on the kid's age, really. I don't. But, um, you're right. It does depend on the kid's age. I know I went way overboard with Barbara's first birthday because she had had heart surgery that first year, and it was super dramatic, and I was like, we yeah, we through. had a, the fir our first ever kid's birthday party was at a venue, and then I made sure that we have not had any at venue since then. Because that was like a rental fee just to get in the door. <laughs> Woo! Yes. For, um, for a one-year-old that has no idea what's even going on. Well, for me, it was a celebration of life that she made it through, because we didn't know she was going to make it through. So it was a big celebration, and we invited all of our family and friends who helped support us through that very trying year and the gods of los angeles gave us hail that day and it's it the first time it's hailed in los angeles and, and it, like snow hasn't hailed, hailed since it then it has not held since nope it sure hasn't thank goodness we didn't have it, our backyard parties like we always do we could have just come goodness, inside we would have just come we inside. had an indoor venue we had to buy a house because it was more affordable than continuing these parties <laughs> on location <laughs> oh tom Okay, how old were you when you when you got your first cell phone? How old were you when you got your first cell phone? I was a junior in college. I graduated when I graduated college. My parents got me one, so I was twenty one. I was. What's a junior in college? For you? Yeah. What were you twenty? Probably 20? I graduated when I was twenty two, so I would so have 21, been twenty one. Yeah, so I got mine at twenty one too, but I was. Uh, Mm. I was graduating at that point. We have to publish it. Oh, yep. Yes. How old were you when you got your first cell phone? Now, I'm using this because my next question is going to be, how old are your kids? How old should kids be when they get their cell phones? So if you have older kids with cell phones, 
we want to know. But this first question is, how old were we? And yeah, so let's hear it. Okay, sorry that I'm slouching for a second. I'm just checking something down here. <laughs> sorry, everyone. I'll get back. Oh. I'll get back to normal in a second. Okay, so like I predicted, most people were 17 years and older. Wait, wait, what, what's the question again? Their first cell phone. This is definitely going to age some of us. Well, that's going to change, yeah. So, but that's what it's I said. Change of the youngins. Chris C. Strand said, I, "I was 38 when I got my first cell phone." That's what I'm talking about. Um, old enough to pay my own bill. See. Um, I had a pager. Oh my God, you had a pager. That's amazing. Early thirties. Uh, Nokia brick phone with the snake game. Yes, Cormac. Um, that's amazing. Okay. So as I predicted over 17 years you're old, just so now, all this. now we're going to do the next question. So publish results. Go to publish results. to the top. Yeah. Nope. No, well, okay. How old should kids these days? Oh, uh, hey. well, you got to go 12 to 15. You can't go 8 to 11. Got to go 12 to 15. There's there's kids under seven. There's kids in Barbara's grade. Nope, 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 nope. Well, here's the thing. Nope, 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 nope. Here's the thing. Here's the only, if you have... If you have multiple caregivers of your child, if you're kind of bouncing around, if you have, if you're divorced and your parents are, like if you're, I feel like that makes a little more sense. Like if you have a cell phone, you're, so you have constant contact with both parents. The world is agreeing with me. I agree. I agree. But I also think if, if you see that someone votes in the eight to 11 or under seven age range, there might be extraordinary circumstances that make them vote in that range that we have to consider. That's true. Or they might just think it's a younger age. Yes. Uh, based on grades, middle school, it's going to be a flip phone. Tommy's right. I agree with Tommy. I'm not saying he's not right, guys. Tommy is right. I would love to see our kids make it to 12 without a phone. We we they will make it twelve without a phone. <laughs> One's almost nine, and she's not anywhere close. David Chavez says, especially if DC. they walk home. If they walk home, like if if your kids walk home to and from school, and they have tracking devices on that stuff, and say you're a working parent, I mean there are gadgets out there Upside. for that. Sure, but. I mean, I, I could see it. Like, I would want to be, like, FaceTiming the whole walk home to make sure they got home or whatever. So, yes, that is my – maturity plays a big part. I agree. We have a very young 8-year-old. So I right. feel like we, we can get to 12 pretty easily. And we would probably – But if and, Katie's best friend gets a phone between 8 and 11 – don't care. She, and she's our youngest. Don't care. She's going to pry us open. Nope, nope. <laughs> nope, nope. Uh, speaking of which, maybe you're heading in this direction. If a kid has a cell phone like that, you yes. got to get him Hotspot Shield. Do, do, do. It's our sponsor, Hotspot Shield. Perfect segue into our okay. sponsor and gonna, giveaway. I'm going to lose my posture as I bow. Yes. Um, and okay. we come right back up. So the average right is wow. 8 to 15. Okay, 8 very to 15 nice. crushed. Okay, so they have cell phones. Say they're 12 to 15. I, I, I'm sorry, I meant 12 to 15. That's good. If they we forgive you. have their cell phones, how do, they, how do you keep their identities safe? Mm. With mm. Hotspot Shield, the most fastest, secure VPN virtual private network most trusted they one. It can be in Starbucks. It can be in anyone's Wi-Fi. And if they have uh, Hotspot Shield, VPN, Store. they are secure. Their smart Winner. devices are secure. Their um, Hotspot works on tablets, smartphones, and PCs. So get it for all of your devices. Um, 
And you can win a $25 gift card to right Amazon right now. Oh. Right now. So, let's play. Um, the first person to correctly fill in the blank. Now, in this live video that we're talking to you from. It's happening now. You guys are watching. There is a caption with a link. Or it might be that way. Wherever that link it might is. Be that way. Depends on what <clears throat> version of Facebook. Click on that link and the first person to, to comment. Fill in the blank. Blank million users access the internet securely with Hotspot Shield. How many million users? So if you click on that link, that number is right there. First person to click on the link will win a $25 gift card hey, from watch it. Watch Amazon. It. Not 10. Oh, well, Doug, you already won, but you're close, but you're not correct, but you're close. Alicia Bird, you are correct. Yay, Alicia. Well, Alicia is the winner up All right. in this house tonight. Congrats, Alicia. Guys, I, I can't. I, I, what am I going to do with this? I don't. I don't know. This is us. This is us. This is us at thirty-nine. This is, this is thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Sitting mommy, taller than we ever have. Mommy needs a vodka. Margarita wine, but no, it's a timeout. Um, Father is... has good posture. <laughs> Wait, what they call you? Uh, riff, erect riff. They don't. It doesn't matter what they say. <laughs> Stiff it riff. It doesn't matter what Stiff all riff. everyone, whatever everyone's commenting doesn't matter. It's what what's up oh. here. That's all that matters. Yes, Alicia, you won. The $25 gift card. I will private message Doug and Alicia after the show. Get your emails. Send you over a $25 gift card. Um, thank you to Hotspot Shield, our sponsor. And before we go, instead... We got like, more. We got questions. No, we got 15 no, minutes. No, yeah. we don't have questions. Yeah, we do. We'll get them. No. So somebody wrote in last week, and they said they really wanted to um, get advice from us. So, if you're now, they have to be appropriate questions. So don't be that guy. Can it be about, <clears throat> um, you know, how posture? To, how to maintain your. So posture? if you guys have questions for us, we're not experts. We're just parents, married a decade, lived a little, laughed a little, cried a little. <laughs> um, so if you have questions for us or a topic you want us to talk about. Um, feel free to mention it. Ooh, Michael already has hotspot. Good for you, Mike. Or if you don't have questions for us, if you don't have questions for us, then... And we know at this point, this is when I dig in. This is when Tom and will my start... My goes backwards. Tom will start talking about the Thank Patriots. Thank you, Noe. So if you don't want to hear about the Patriots... My hat goes backwards. Ask us a we question about anything, whether it's parenting, relationship, whatever. Nose getting right into it. Um, have you ever farted in public and blamed it on your wife? No. Wants to. <laughs> I, I can't say I have. I can't say I have. <laughs> that's a great, that's Thank a great you first know. question. Um, uh, Chris asks, how did you meet Ellen? So, yeah. Uh, so, for those of you question. watching. Yeah, great question. I have worked with Ellen for 15 years next week. February something or another, 15 years. Ellen DeGeneres. Yep. That's who he's talking about. Work over at her show there. I do the audience warm up and pump up the crowd. And I met her, well, I didn't meet her, but when I worked at Hollywood Squares she in was 2002, the square. she was the center square. And a couple of people from her team remembered me. So when she started the show, um, they asked me to come on over there. And but that was the first time I actually met her when I was actually working for the show. The first day I, I worked on her show. And she just had a birthday this week too. 61. So happy birthday to Ellen. Happy birthday, Ellen. She definitely only gets better with age for mm -hmm. sure. Um we're getting other questions. Why did Tom Brady get oh it was a great question. 
Why did Tom Brady get a roughing on the passer call when his pads got touched, yet Mahomes didn't get it when he got hit in the face mask? Yes, uh, that was definitely a pretty bad call. There was a uh, a hand that got near. Well, you're not allowed to well, pull. No, Tom wait, Brady wait, wait. has different rules. Hashtag Chiefs fan. Right. Yeah. You can't put a hand even near Tom Brady's face. That's the that's his rule, because he's Tom Brady. <laughs> so there was a there was a hand, a Chiefs player's hand, that got way too close to Tom Brady's face. Oof. So they gave him a roughing the passer penalty, and the hand went like this, and it might have even touched his shoulder. It was a violent hit to his upper shoulder, kind of of about about that strength, Big. and there was a penalty. Fall. Land the plane. Yep, we're we're down. What do we got next? Um, I'm going through potty training hell. I have a will, full stubborn toddler advice, Joseph. Don't ask us for advice on that one, man. We are not experts, and we have we, failed terribly we with, suck. with pets, with kids. We suck at potty myself. training. We are really bad at potty training. Um, our first child was very willful and stubborn, and we thought new parents were like, oh, around two, two and a half, let's start. She didn't, so the saying when everyone says, don't do it until they're ready, until they show interest is very accurate. Um, our daughter was not interested and she made it known and she finally turned a corner just before she turned four. So, but we fought it for like a year and a half trying to get her to potty train and it was hell. Whereas my second, my son, he saw his big sister doing it. He was totally into it. Potty trained pretty smoothly. Um, but then we have like bedwetting issues, but I was a bedwetter, so I don't really blame them. Um, Lots and of details then, coming out now. <laughs> and then our youngest is more or less potty trained, but she still like asks for a pull up to poop in her pant or poop in the pull up. It's just a good time. It's we it's a suck. good time for all of us. We said all we can say is you're not alone. We have willful, stubborn children too, and um. Good luck. <laughs> we wish you a lot of luck. We have uh, two more Tom Brady questions. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. This guy, no, he's funny. Come on. Why does Tom Brady wear leg warmers? Well, no, he... <laughs> Tom Brady's legs are not allowed to get cold. So he wears leg warmers. They also want to know, legs warm. why did Tom... Hey, Anthony. Why Anthony did, Valente. Why did Brady deflate the balls? This is, these are a lot of tough questions. Uh, if you guys saw the, um, so what happened was, this one's tough. Uh, one of the equipment managers took it on himself to take all the, the balls into the bathroom and deflate them a little bit. And then Tom Brady was suspended for four weeks for no good reason. How do the Patriots get away with cheating every season? Thank you for the question. <laughs> They they were they were convicted of cheating uh, with the with the, what was the first one? It was the Spygate Spygate where they were videotaping the other teams. There were other teams that were doing that, and Deflategate got a little ridiculous. But Tom Brady has been a better quarterback since Deflategate. Oh man, this is funny. Um, <clears throat> what else we got, Luz? Okay, let's see. It's let's see. Belichick is going to keep that off the injury report. Um, have a good night, Cormac. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, let's see. What? Hey, boys. What? Well, oh, what did you think of the little boy science fair project, that one about Brady's cheating? <laughs> Guys, um, he was a kid. What does that kid know <laughs> about cheating? There was another kid that did a science project on the flake gate and how it was not real. So I trust that kid. Tony's son will only poop in a pull-up too. All right, Tony, we, you see us. We're here. We Same uh, with our toddler. Um, I wish you were the Patriots spokesperson. Freaking hilarious. He did have a call with Patriots PR today, y'all. Mm, oh, mm. Like, Why can I email them tonight? tonight although I feel like you doing a lot of Patriots ads on Life of Dad might. Um, Not good. 
Not good. People get so angry. People they hate them so people much. People don't like patriots. They hate them so much. Um, okay. How long are you going to cry after their loss this weekend? So <laughs> he's going too. So he really might cry. He doesn't react to anything, you guys, except for the Mets and the Patriots. When they when they win or lose, it like he has feelings. That, that no seems... other time in life does he have feelings. Yeah, I don't. Well, yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't born with feelings. Yeah, but I, except I feel when like, it comes are most with... men like me or no. Most men don't have feelings. Maybe some men don't have feelings, but I don't actually. There's no like we watched that. What's that movie about the feelings? The animated one. Uh, Inside Out. I just I could not relate. None of those emotions <laughs> had I ever felt. Um, but the kids seem to enjoy it, and they have emotions, so that's nice. And then I'm overly emotional, so I'm like, dude, why'd you marry me? I'm, like, so overly dramatic. Um, Tim Reed has a good question, non-Patriots related. Yep. Thank you, Tim. Do you guys compromise on vacation destinations or take turns in where you want to go? Well, we don't really vacation that much. We were talking about vacation here. We took that one amazing vacation this summer. I usually, Aside from that, was have there been any other vacations? Yeah, but I feel like I don't exactly always bounce. Like, we went to Europe this summer. I guess that kind of bounced it off you. Yeah. But, like, well, he, wanted, uh, he wanted to go to Spain, and I just, like, Let's no. put it into perspective. She likes to plan things. I don't like to plan things. So, so like, I'm going to the Super default. Bowl. I'm going to the Super Bowl. I don't have a room, and I don't have a ticket to the game yet, but I'm going. That is that not, not how... That would not fly with this lady. She no has to be set ma'am. up. No but ma'am. me, it's the most exciting thing ever to just, just go and do it. So I so like to kind of figure involved, things out. So when I'm involved, it's on my terms. When Tom goes somewhere without me. And if it's on her terms, I realize within those terms, I have my own flexibility. So I we know where He's we're going to be every like, night. But then I'll find my... And... Wake up early and just get out of there. Um. Okay. You need to get the the Patriots to sponsor one of our date nights. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, okay. No feelings except for football. That Doug, that's all it is. He has no feelings. He is an emotion. He is a very strong rock for me who is very emotional. He's a strong erect. Nope, nope. Scratch that, go back. Um, mm. What? Would you change your last name to Brady? True story. In, when I was 12, my very first kiss, the boy's name was Brady. And I named my dog Brady in my 20s after it. So I don't think he would do Brady because of my first kiss. Mm. Or do you not care? I mean, would you, you how change? Old, how old were you? It was so, before you had your cell phone. So the question is, would you change your last name to Brady? No, I'm good with my last name. I'm proud of you. Yes. Yeah. 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 He, yeah, like his last, last name. name ends with him. So now we have a son. So his now last name. Now it ends with our son. Because yeah. he has all sisters and the lineage and his dad. So, um, yeah. Um. Let's see. I think, I think that might we be it. That's covered it. That's all. It. That's, it. That's it. And it's it's pretty much yeah. nine o'clock. So I feel like we're good. Cheers, everyone. Thanks Cheers. so much for hanging out with us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. We'll let we'll have a little uh, Super Bowl recap. Oh yes, yes we will, won't we? Very exciting. We'll see if Tommy's super happy. Yeah. Bye guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks. Thanks, Hotspot. Bye. Still going. Still Bye. Going. Thank you for sponsoring.